Well, hello, 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 everybody. My name is Sarah, and this is Sarah the Shopper, because it kind of covers all of the gig work, doesn't it? Or even the W-2 work. I see a lot of you are taking W-2 jobs to go along with your gig work, and just to have that little base of, like, I, well, at least I can count on this. Or maybe you have other revenue rivers that keep you going and flowing, because we don't want you to be broke as you do your your gig work. It's, it's, it's very tough out there these days. And I live in a, in a tourist area on Cape Cod. So the winters are slower. The older people wear the, um, Instacart really, really, really got big for me. What were the seniors? Uh, we were 35% over 65 down here, but, but a lot of them go to Florida for a month or two or the whole season in the winter. So that takes away that revenue. And then the summer people, you know, they'll be coming back and, and doing their deal. And that, it all works. But, you know, I'm I'm definitely grateful for my W-2 in-store shopping gig. But I did have three days off this week, so I could do Sarah the Shopper gig work. I love the freedom of gig work. And um, yeah, this could even be a positive video today. What do you know? No crab apple. Who knew? But I do love the gig work. There's just something about it. Now, my husband fishes almost every single day in the summer, and he just loves that, you know, you get out there, the sun's coming up. You don't know if you're going to catch anything or what you're going to catch or how you're going to catch it, how long a day you'll have, what you'll see out there. And he loves all of that. And I equate my gig work exactly to that. I just, it it's the adventure of it all. And I love the winter on the Cape because there's a whole lot less traffic and I, and I can get out there and just drive to these gigs. Yes, gas is wicked expensive, but I'm going at like 30 miles an hour down, you know, the only roads that we have to get to places. And, you know, it's more the adventure and I love the time spent doing it. I love food. And I always learn about new foods. Yesterday, I accepted a double batch with Instacart. First, I did the, you know, I accepted the one order and then they had that add-on. And they did that a few years ago. And I loved it back then too. And the way that it ended up for me, it was, um, it was less than 35 items for the two shops. And the houses, the, the, um, the delivery spots were like a quarter of a mile away from each other. So it was like thumbs up all over the place. And I loved it. And one of them was ordering all these um, interesting sausages that are like over by the bacons and the hot dogs and things like that. And I'd never seen them. And I wasn't tempted to buy any for myself. But it was great because I learned I was in Stop and Shop, not Shaw's where I work. And so I was able to see you know, what's out there for products that I just don't see when I'm doing in-store shopping at Shaw's necessarily. So it was it was kind of fun and I liked it. And another one, the second one of the Instacart's kind of funny, um, was a very feminine name. And I pictured this blonde 25-year-old that loved junk food because it was Lay's and it was Doritos and it was um, sodas. And it was just kind of funny. And I pictured pulling in and finding this younger woman that loved her like crunch and munch movie watching, binge watching, TV watching <laughs> type foods. And it was this man from Jamaica with dreads down to his waist. <laughs> and it, it just kind of cracked me up because it wasn't the visual I had in my head with her, this feminine name. He must have had a more formal name. And this was the nickname that was that came out of it. But he handed me a $10 cash tip, totally unexpected. So I was delighted. And I did one grocery delivery as well at one of my sister Shaw stores on the Cape. So it was a nice day. And I got out there and I it was rainy and windy with gusts up to 65 miles an hour. It was kind of crazy in the beginning. And I was dressed from head to toe in bright yellow slicker galoshes and a raincoat. <laughs> I was dry. I liked it. It was fun. But I was I was just reading all your comments from my last or a couple of videos ago about the deli. And it, 
one woman had was cracking me up about the um, job job description of like you promise you're slow as molasses and that you keep your head down and not look at people and it's like oh my god and then she said that she had worked in a deli as a teen for like five years so she's very familiar with <laughs> you know the <clears throat> how the deli works I'm blessed with my in-store shopping and what we do is we print up from the computer the deli order and we highlight it and um and so it works out pretty good but those days in the winter or slow times like you might find now where there's one person on the deli and they're getting hammered by you know walk-up customers it's torturous and i i had i mean really yesterday was like a unicorn day in how everything went <clears throat> They didn't hide the deli on the second add-on order, um, you know, like I said in that previous vid video where they um, hid the deli and somebody said they hid waters on her. Um, so I knew I was in for it. And so fortunately, this particular stop and shop has all the condiments by the deli. So I could do the order. <clears throat> there was nobody ahead of me. Wow, it was cool. So I gave the woman the order, <coughs> excuse me. And so while she was processing it, I could go get the mayonnaise and the bag of av avocados that the customer wanted. It was like, it was like a unicorn day with placements of things and shops, aisles, it was, it was great. So I actually had no complaints. And um, the delivery order for the groceries, that worked out well too. Um, for some reason, it was a $20 point pickup, and it involved three bags of groceries and three that I could carry. I mean, they weren't even, like, heavily packed. It's great. So, <clears throat> I was a happy camper yesterday. I put, I had a full day with just those three orders, and I, I made $50, which, like, isn't a lot. I mean, it's not going to, like, support anything, but it's like a well, it's a full tank of gas, right? And that's how I look at it. And with the mileage, it ends up being a wash anyway with like, I did 42 miles, what is it, 60 cents, 24. So like half of it is a write-off anyway with the mileage. And, you know, I just kind of like that stuff. I like being active on my days off from my in-store job. I feel blessed with both as long as I can keep doing both. And so it was just one of those days that, that I liked Instacart. I was communicative with both parties, the one that I thought was the female with the munchies <laughs> and the other lady that had all the different sausages. And it just, it really worked out well. And, you know, customer service is still the name of the game, no matter, no matter what master you're working for, whether the master is you, your CEO of your gig work, or the master is the boss of the store and the customer and the supervisor, all of them, that supervisor of the in-store shopping department that I have, you know, it, it just all works, pleasing all of them. It, it doesn't always flow that way, but when it does, it's just a grand day. And the sun came out after all that rain and I, I was like sweating in the summer. <laughs> you know, it, the temperature actually went up to like 60 degrees in February. And so I've got all this raincoat gear on. I can't take it off because underneath is stuff that I would wear at home lounging because I didn't think I'd be exposed, you know, because I'd always have the raincoat and the galoshes on. So it was it was quite the sight. But I did get a lot of comments about my yellow galoshes and my yellow raincoat. <laughs> Couldn't be missed. I was either a daffodil or <clears throat> one man said, where's Curious George? Because I was dressed in yellow. <clears throat> Sorry about this. But anyway, I continue to love the adventure of the gig work. My name is Sarah the Shopper. I'm so glad that you're here. It's nice to have a positive about the gig work video. Don't worry. The complaints will happen again. <laughs> because we know it's gig work. And Instacart, it's not easy, but it was yesterday. So I'll take it as a gift. And um, I hope you're all doing fine. I hope your business is keeping you busy enough. I know with the gas prices, it's kind of hard to do Uber Eats and um, DoorDash. 
Have you seen the Uber Eats with all the cameos of the famous people? It's kind of interesting. Mm. But they're all doing stuff. <laughs> I love the guy from Succession. He's he's such a, a doofus, but a, a, a just endearing. The one that's like seven feet tall. He was drinking the, what was it, the Dawn dishwashing liquid. This isn't Uber Eats. <laughs> anyway, I will see you all later here and enjoy your adventures because that's what it's all about, right? Thank you for watching. This has been Sarah the Shopper. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.